Before you know it, high school football season will be here. Kids will be in preseason camp, and that means kids will be returning to school. Sorry to drop that on you, young folks. But that precursor before all that happens is generally the inner high camp. And the inner high camp where all these schools get together and the guys are excited to get back into football pads after a long layoff. So we'll take you down there. Commerce Bank Field at Foley Stadium. All the city schools are involved, including Shrewsbury and Marlboro. They're getting some work in before their preseason camps begin. All the teams like the competition. No, it's pretty intense. <laughs> it's pretty fun, too. I'm not complaining. I like the competition. Inter-high rivals are always fun, you know, north and I think Burnco, Doherty and South. It's just, it's, it's good competition seeing what we're going to be going up against. It's friendly competition. Um, it's, it's, again, it's just a learning experience uh, to help us um, once the season comes around. You know, right now we're all just helping each other. It's just, it's just friendly competition. We get to see what they're like. We get to play seven on seven. It's a little bit of competition. So we get to see their offense, how we're going to change our defense depending on what they do. So it's, it's a good preview to the preseason. A lot of conditioning in this heat as well as the young guys get used to the football pads. The inner high camp running this week at Commerce Bank Field. Hey, look, there's Mark Ellis. He's back. All right, to the college ranks. It took most of the summer to find out, but WPI Zach Grasses is cleared to play for his fifth year for the engineers. The Prouty star coming off an injury, and he is hungry to get back out there and help his team win. Especially with how my four years have been, uh, we haven't been very successful. Uh, for how hard we worked, we you know, deserve a better season than that. And also on top of that, my injury. I wanted to come back from that so bad, so... Um, just those two combinations really makes it important. You know, having him back for a fifth year um, is is great because you know that when he's healthy, he's one of those guys that's a known commodity. You know exactly what you're going to get from him, um, and that's a high-level performer at this level. Well, I'll tell you what, if Grasses can get a sixth year, maybe we can get him to go for his doctorate there at WPI. He's one of the all-time greats in Central Mass out of David Prouty. A lot of big receivers for Chris Robertson's club as well. They are deep at the skill position side of the ball on offense. Look for them against MIT in a couple of weeks. Becker, they only won one game last season. It was their last game, but the upperclassmen have returned in big numbers, hoping to build a new foundation for the program. You know, we're all coming back. We have the most returning seniors that we've ever had here at Becker College, so that definitely works to our benefit, and we got a lot of new young guys coming in promising young guys. We all came here to win and to do anything short of that would, you know, it's just not a good thing. You know, I just, we just come in here to win. It uh, talks about leadership. We need all the upperclassmen we can get to step up um, and lead the freshmen, lead the underclassmen, because that's who's going to be left in the program. It's very important. Every year that go by, it's, gonna, it's an important year. Um, for the upperclassmen, for the underclassmen, it's, it's going to be an important year for everybody. Um, you know, with what we got is what we deal with. And, you know, we just continue to, to build on each and every time. All right. You know what? Listen to your coaches as Becker continues to improve. Listen to Brandon Potvin. He's on the staff. My man Pot, one of the all-time greats to play in central Massachusetts. Becker opens against Fitchburg State on September the 4th. Here we go to the City Babe Ruth Championships. Back for the first time in 20 years, 13 and 15-year-olds as the sun sets on Croc Field. Zach Cutler deals a strikeout in the bottom of the six for Eastside. They're up seven to three. Working on the jam. Then Cutler gets the ground ball. Schwartz is Mike Sheeran scoring through the back door after a mammoth triple for Sheeran. Made it seven to four. Chris Schoen keeping Schwartz close. Gets the strikeout in the seventh. So bottom of the seventh. Last chance for Schwartz. Zach Zakara. Speeding down the first baseline, beats the play. Aaron Berry scores, makes it 7-5. to five. But Cutler getting the grounder with two outs, and Andrew Pepper, the strong throw from shortstop Eastside, wins 7-5. to five. They advance to the finals on Friday at Croc Field, the other semifinal going on tomorrow down at Croc Field. So there's still baseball, believe it or not. They <laughs> haven't had that series, the City Series, in Babe Ruth in 20, 30 years, and they're trying to bring it back and make it bigger and better than ever, just like the Little League has the City Series in Worcester as well. That's pretty good stuff. Nice yeah. to see some actual football on the field, too, instead of the deflate gate talk as well. Yeah, well, all the balls properly inflated at Becker we and Worcester, at WPI places. Well, we think. Yeah. WPI has, WPI has it under control. Yeah, yeah I mean, sure. they're engineers. They know what they're doing. <laughs> all so. right, thanks, Andy. You Appreciate it. it. All right, for Andy Lacombe, I'm Tim McComb. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow night at 6.